Showing you guys today for the first time here on MonsterFishingTackle.com the double wacky hook. Uh, it's a hook that I designed, a light wire double hook for wacky rigging heavy plastics like uh, Berkeley heavyweight sink worms and Yamamoto Senkos. Basically it's a, it's a little small double wire, light wire hook that's got an O-ring attachment loop back on the back of the shank that allows you to rig plastics without having to put the point of the hook down through the bait. Uh, what I like to do is I'll take a pair of pliers and spread, spread the O-ring open a little bit and just get the head of the Senko or the Berkeley Heavyweight Sink Worm started and uh, kind of like your little plastic O-ring attachment loop, uh, O-ring attachment tubes, you know, works the same way and basically what you have is a perfectly rigged uh, wacky Senko or uh, Berkeley Heavyweight Sink Worm. Um, what this allows, the reason and the reason why this hook is so, so deadly is, is it allows the bait to actually move up in between the points as the bait's moving down on the bottom. Um, and if it does happen to ball up, like a lot of baits do on wacky rigs, if it balls up on one point, you still have the second point to actually penetrate the fish's mouth. So this is gonna double your hookup rates as well as help increase the longevity of your plastics because there is no, there is no point going through the plastic. Another really nice feature about this hook is that it's a welded eye kind of like a treble hook. Uh, it's one continuous loop of wire that goes around the eye of the hook so there's no sharp edge for the knot to ever catch on for your line to break off. And I really like to throw this on a seven foot medium verdict rod, Abu Garcia, Revo Premier Reel, uh, six or 10 pound fire line or a, uh, ultracast braid tied to a 100% fluorocarbon leader. Um, but th this little hook is the deal. You're gonna catch a lot more fish, you're gonna land a lot more fish um, and it's really designed for those deeper applications with the Senkos, heavyweight sink worms, uh, wacky rig Berkeley Havoc pit, uh, wacky rig Berkeley Havoc bottom hoppers. Um, they're a little bit smaller, so you can just get it started right on the head and pull the bait right up there, and boom, you have the perfectly rigged wacky rig right there on the O-ring. The O-ring's a little bit smaller than the average that you buy on the store, so it's pretty pretty firm on the Senko, but it'll also hold a thinner plastic, uh, just worms, really well. Um, and I'll take a take a nail weight, and after you put the worm on, take the nail weight and st stick the nail weight directly in the head of the bait. About halfway, usually I use about half of the weight and then break it off. And then there you've got the, the dick rig or the is rig or the Nico rig, whatever you want to call it, but it's perfect, perfectly rigged. And you're going to catch a lot more fish on this bait because if, if your bait does happen to ball up on one point, it's not going to ball up on both. And the bait's going to last a lot longer. Available here at monsterfishingtackle.com or at your local retailers uh, in the coming weeks. But uh, try one today and you're going to be really surprised at how many more fish you catch. And, Look in the future for Monster to bring out the newer versions when, when they do come out larger sizes and whatnot. But right now there's just one size available. It's a size one. And it's pretty much the most universal size as far as I'm concerned. Um, it'll work on any of the any of the five and six inch baits as well as um, as well as anything you want to try to wacky rig. There's uh, one other thing that somebody mentioned as I was developing this bait. Um, somebody, while I was developing developing while I was developing this bait somebody else also offered an idea as to how it could be used that I really didn't even think about which is interesting but uh, some guys are talking about taking the o-ring off which you can with, a, with if you just take your pliers you can kind of loosen up loosen up the attaching ring just a little bit and you can pop the o-ring off and you can put a bigger size o-ring on and you can use this as a trailer hook on a swim bait smaller swim baits and you can Instead of putting a treble hook and actually impelling one of the points in the tail of the swim bait, you can actually just put the boot tail into the O-ring and have this tied to your main line or tied to your main hook and use it as a stinger hook on the back of a swim bait. So that's something else that you might want to think about trying this for. Um, as the as the larger sizes come out, it might be a little bit more pop, uh, a little bit more applicable for the larger swim baits. But right now, with a five-inch hollow belly or something like that. Uh, this would work pretty good for a trailer hook as well, so, so give it a chance.